Hello again, Director Marlon Green here. Uh, hi, a casually speaking series here. I want to let you know what the trends are today. What are the stereo, how people play mind games, the to the, what the mind games are today that people play that I know about. There's a lot of them out there. But I can only tell you about the ones that I go through or what I see someone else go through or I might just hear from someone else what's going on. And so I just want to say, you know, I'm not trying to be particularly hard on anyone, but, you know, it's my responsibility as a responsible African-American male to tell our females what to do because apparently they don't know. We live on the same planet, but in different world worlds, and uh, we have to reverse this negative trend because there are at least five to one. They possess more wealth than we do, and uh, they complain about us and they want equal pay. But if they get equal pay, it wouldn't be fair to the other men that spent a lot of time mastering their craft so equal skills equal pay that's what's going on with that the mind games that are going on these days that are concerning veterans are this uh, a lot of veterans are desperate for disability and so they file for PTSD and some of them may not have PTSD. They may have an adjustment disorder. They might have an allergic reaction. They may have a, 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 a uncomfortable interaction with one of the staff. So what I would recommend is that when you talk to these professionals from now on, you keep your own copy of recordings for yourself so in case you go to court you can always backtrack and say your side now don't get confident because the courts and everything else are corrupt and it's all about a look at me contest even if you have the proof that don't mean you will be able to present it because there is many steps in between getting to the bottom of the problem which most people do not want to get to the bottom of the problem if they can profit from it that's just a fact that's human nature cops lie guys lie women's lie firemen's lie everyone lies so and they're out to take advantage of you so do not be fooled by the current trends do not be fooled by these ladies with these loud voices and these disrespectful antics and these rude comments because in most cases, if you're a balanced person, you really don't have that much time to spend in negativity. For like what I'm saying is I spend a lot of time being diligent and being productive. If I'm not, you know, I'm not just sitting there waiting on things to happen. I'm out doing it. I'm out there proactively doing it. And so are the people I hang with, so are the people I look up to, and so are the people that I work with. If I'm with you, you, you'll know you're not lazy because I'm not hanging around a lazy person. Now, just because you don't have the same work ethic as I do or work at the same pace, that doesn't mean you're lazy either because, you know, we all have different skill sets, different needs, so you can't really put everybody in the same basket. And you definitely can't put me in the same basket because I'm exceptional. I'm exceptional because I can normally do most things exceptionally well or better than average. So that alone creates and commands respect. So if I respect you, I expect you to respect me. And uh, some of the uh, seduction games that are going on now is that... Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's just basically, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, females are in the dating married guys and guys that are involved. So I'm not trying to ask anyone 
too much or they involved if they in if they in a relationship and and they and they uh represent it you know that's that's cool i respect that but what's going on is a lot of people don't put their status they don't put they single they put single then they really not a lot of people play these games i'm I, what you see is what you get from me and i know that i can do better so i'm not going to waste my time with uh, trying to convince people that you know I should be, you know, uh, you know, put more as a priority. If if they don't have time for me, eventually I'll leave. It's just as simple as that. And uh, a lot of the seductive games are going on is like uh, that I hear that's going on is like the these little girls and these young women and these women and stuff they try to get these men in the frenzy and they do all kinds of stuff like give them blow jobs and get them hooked and just cut them off and put them in the frenzy and have them running behind them and all that type of shit and and these guys they don't really have that much money or they do have that much money they just uh use it as a front and they don't really they're not real 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 genuine people and that's who a lot of people get involved with but you know i just mostly stay by myself and get a lot of stuff done but i work well in groups and i expect people that i'm around have somewhat the same philosophy so because there's always drama around i'm always trying to eliminate it but you know that's just me and so uh and it's been like that for a while now. Uh, another a stereotypical uh, trap for especially veterans. Veterans. This message is especially for you. Try not to file for disability, PTSD, if you can avoid it. I know some of us have PTSD. But a lot of us don't. We have other disorders and there are new disorders being found every week. Lots of them are doing with or don't help have to do with nutrition and lifestyle. So there's always new information coming out. So you have to stay progressive, stay, you know, current and uh, informed on all of the new trends. And so I want to say to my veterans. Uh, especially if you did a lot of special ops, uh, the government really doesn't like you or like us veterans because when you're in the military, they act like they're 100% for you. But when you get out of the military, they do things like cut out with benefits. So uh, you have to do what you have to do to keep yourself healthy while in the military. And when if you if you do decide to apply for disability benefits, make sure that not only do you know you give them a copy but you make sure you keep a copy from day one because a lot of these ailments uh can start off very small and you don't notice or anything until much later so it's always good to keep a good record of your health and uh just be aware of veterans that uh, they're going to target you too because of your leadership abilities and your accomplishments. Because what's going on is, and especially during the Bush and Obama administrations, that they labeled uh, veterans as uh, potential hostile threats because of our military experience. But really, this was a propaganda in order to bolster uh, the. Uh, uh, the war on terror and uh, they've been doing covert op operations for a long time in Mexico and Canada and we need to get that wall up I'm still with that but there also needs to be a lot more minority representation in the leadership in the course because that is really where we are hurting you know and uh, they do make adjustments and do not be discouraged because they do manipulate the system don't be surprised if the snakes slip out of the complaint system. Everything is corrupt. Don't take anything for granted. Be diligent. Do the best you can. Hopefully they're lazy enough to get caught slipping. And, uh, you know, and a lot of these people don't have any morals. So you have to challenge them in the area of your expertise and not let them keep you off balance. 
and their and to their advantage and their expertise. You don't have to necessarily fight. You can always try to resist and a lot of times get the same or probably better results because resisting a lot of times it it, 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 it if it's less than war, resisting is a lot better option than crashing and burning or 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 putting all your eggs in one basket just to meet disaster.